welcome to Wayne Goldsboro Television. Today is October 9th, 2K15. Well, we're just about to head over to the weekend, but bef before we do, we want to talk about whatever it is we got to talk about today, right? That's right, All right. on this Friday. I'm Wayne Alley. And I'm Kate Daniels. And I'm glad you're with us today. Coming up on the 17th of October, in the next uh, week or so, uh, the uh, Wayne County Arts Council. Yes. Arts Council of Wayne Arts County. Arts Council of Wayne County. Where's my mind? Okay. It's on the weekend. I, I left it for like yesterday. It's yeah. on the weekend. Okay. It's, uh, it's uh, the Arts Council of Wayne County coming up with a plain air paint out. You told me what that meant. What is plain air? What is that? I'm not sure of the exact um, definition, but it's painting in plain air. And Brenda Bear, mm -hmm. who is a, a locally uh, local artist, but is known throughout the country for mm -hmm. her brilliant work, mm -hmm. uh, did a plain air piece mm -hmm. at the DGDC dinner a couple of weeks ago. Oh. So what that means is she was painting on site in plain air um, uh, and did this beautiful painting of the actual event. So as, these as artists, it was going on. as it was going on, so these artists that are being called out to be a part of this mm -hmm. that the Arts Council is putting on, um, you know, whether you're a um, a recognized artist or mm -hmm. you're a budding artist, as long as you are 18 and older mm -hmm. and pay the $20, I think it's $20, 20 bucks. you can be anywhere in, where's the, where do they want you to be, in downtown Goldsboro? Downtown Goldsboro. Downtown Goldsboro. Yeah. Use any um, medium, isn't that what you call it? Mm -hmm. medium, whatever your yeah. artist choice is, um, and you've got to be able to be willing to sell the piece. It's got to be for sale. It's got to be for sale. Um, but it's, it's on the spot outside your paint. It's, Painting it's in plain air. Immediacy. You see, uh, a, you oh, see yeah. something. Look at there. you. Well, That's well, a good word. Well, well, I just made it up. You see something, and you just want to paint it right that moment. Yeah. Plain air. P L E I N. Plain air. On the spot painting. You paint that thing that moment, and then you sell it. Very cool. Boom. Very there you cool. Go, just like that. Very cool. Anyway, that's coming up on the 17th of October. That's a, I presume, a Saturday. It is. You want to know how we know that? How do because we know that? Because that Friday, the 16th, is Dancing Stars of Wayne County. So we've oh, still got time nice. to buy tickets and vote online for your favorite star. Go to WayneEducationNetwork.org or to the Chamber's website. Which is? WayneCountyChamber.com. WayneCountyChamber.com. I got a little hung up there, didn't yeah. I? <laughs> Thanks for mocking me. <laughs> well, I loved it. That was good. Wayne County Chamber. It's W W W W W A Y N E. Wayne. Okay. October seventeenth. October seventeenth. Saturday. Is the plane out? That's the Saturday plane out. Paint out. That's kind of catchy, isn't it? It is. Uh, enjoy easy access to historical homes and monuments. Unique architectural features mm -hmm. and here in Go downtown Goldsboro we are full of those things yeah. there's a lot of that stuff yeah. around architectural features and such uh, non juried event not only provides opportunities for emerging artists but also attracts the seasoned professionals as well all artwork must be completed in the downtown area a map will be provided the plain air paint out is open to all artists over uh, 18 and over it only cost you twenty dollars all works must be for sale uh, canvases will be stamped with an approved insignia October 17th at 8 a.m. and only artwork with the stamp will be permitted in the exhibition and sale. Huh. In addition, all works must be ready to hang by 3.30 p.m. So get there early and work fast. There is no minimum number of works, e works accepted. So if you can do five in that amount of time, do it. So Space good. limited to the first 50 applicants. Others will be put on a waiting list. Artsinwayne.org. Artsinwayne.org is where you get more information or go to their website, which is arts, uh, which is 736 uh, 3300. 919 736 3300. That's the Arts Council of Wayne County. Wonderful. That work? That works. That works for that me. That works. All right. So, what have you got? Well, I was just going to mention about the Think Pink thing coming up on October 13th, and that will be next Tuesday. Next Tuesday at Wayne Memorial Hospital on the front lawn there, everybody's going to be dressed in pink because it is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And for the Think Pink event at Wayne Memorial Hospital, they will be having the Think Pink Breast Cancer Awareness Walk. Okay, this is October 13th. And in fact, you had a great idea. Kate suggested that everybody, whether they're in the Think Pink Walk or not, wear pink on the 13th. Yes. Think okay. pink on the 13th. Think Let's pink. paint the town pink. Indeed. We will paint 
the town paint or paint the pink town. Paint the pink town of Wayne County. And I, you know, a shout out to Wayne Memorial Hospital. They do wonderful programs throughout the year. There's yes. a lot of educational programs oh, yeah. um, throughout the year on, on y you name it, you think of it, they probably offer it. And if they don't, I'll go ahead and put this out there. I would bet money that Georgia D's would be willing to hear from you. If there's something <laughs> that you think they should have in a program, yep. send the suggestion in. I think so often, um, communities, and, and I know I'm guilty of it too, whether it's something simple as you watching the show and you're like, well, I wish they'd cover blank. Email us, call, let Wayne know, or let me know what you'd mm -hmm. like to hear about. Yeah. But different things in the community, if there's something that you're like, I wish this was different in the community, or I wish somebody would do something like blank, let somebody know right. what is it. You, see, you don't I, have to be in charge of it, but what is it? That's You've right. got our, got the, our, our email look address at you. right there. Yeah. Whoa. So good. Yeah, it's right there. But don't just sit around and, and think, you know, what if. Um, mm -hmm. Think pink on the 13th. But if there's other ideas that you've got in the community, it's if you think it would be good for you, it's probably good for somebody else. That's exactly Let's look right. at it that way. Yeah. That's, that's a good way of putting it. Tell somebody. Okay, today, October 9th, is always on the second Friday of the month of October, is World Egg Day. You know where you can get some eggs? Where? At the farmer's market today at Herman Park. That's exactly right. Because it's Friday. That's right. <laughs> the farmer's market today at Herman Park, which is on Herman Street, just outside the city of Herman. Bill. Bill. <laughs> yeah, Herman Bill. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. But it's on Herman, Herman Park, and they have eggs. Sometimes. Oh, Don't put me on the spot. That's what they do. No, they <laughs> do. Like today I they the would. Well, I will say this. It just depends. Yeah. You know, they're going to have your fruits and your vegetables. Yeah. Um, a lot of times they've got fresh flowers out there. Right. Um, and many times they've got eggs out there. Yeah. So it's go true. by and check them out there. They're Wednesdays and Fridays until when in November? Isn't there like November 25th. November 25th. Yeah. You've got plenty of time plenty. to go by there. Yeah. Um, so, yes. Yes, okay, that's good news. Okay, today is also Leif Erikson Day. Viking explorer, he was, purportedly to have discovered this particular continent in around 1000 AD, around, okay. give or take, give or take. A, a year. And this is also on the uh, 9th of October, Fire Prevention Day, supposedly oh. the day that Mrs. O'Leary's cow kicked the bucket, uh, kicked the lantern over in Chicago and burned the town. Did not know that. Yeah, yeah, she had. But here's the here's the funny part about that. They had good press coverage on that. But there was an even bigger town in in Pateshko, Wisconsin, that that day with an even bigger fire. Really? But the, nobody covered that one. But everybody knew about the uh, and the the cow thing kicking over the lantern uh, was actually just a that was not real. That, that was, was just the same. That was just, a, that was so just a story that was made up, and everybody thought it was true. Wow, to garner attention. Well, well, good marketing. So yes. today's National Fire no, Prevention Fire Day. Fire Prevention Day. Yeah. So little public service announcement. Yes. Every home, every business, every building should have um, smoke alarms, smoke detectors. Smoke detectors. Yeah, um, they need to be tested periodically. Make sure the battery's in it because if the batteries are not good, you will not know. Most fires, um, I believe, is my understanding, happen at night. Mm. So if you've got a two-story home, make sure they are upstairs and downstairs. They That's advise right. that they're in every bedroom. Exactly and right. And if you contact any of our local fire departments, um, they can they can help take care of you with with that information and um, smoke detectors and I know the Red Cross has that information as well. Yes. A little seven, public service announcement. Seven three five seven two zero one. The Red Cross seven three five seven two zero one. There you go. Today is also uh, Curious Events Day. Ooh. Curiously speaking, and it's also Moldy Cheese Day. That's gross. That's it gross. Is, isn't it? Well, we're going to leave on that. You should be ashamed for I ending know, on I that know. note. That was terrible. That was terrible. All right. <laughs> uh, that's terrible. That's just bad. Bad, bad, bad. <laughs> <laughs> to our next segment, we'll be back. That's gross. Your source for what's happening in your community is Wayne Goldsboro Television. Our guests today come to us from the Goldsboro Family Y, of course, Cricket Davis and Amanda Grantham. Hi. Yes, hey. Glad you're here. How Thank you doing? Thank you. Good. How are Great you? Great to see you, Cricket, Good always. Morning. Yes. All right. What's going on? Why are there two of you here today? She's my newest victim. 
Okay, lucky you. <laughs> Should I run? No, of course not. No, but we did lock the door. Okay, well, yeah, of course. Okay. <laughs> So what are we talking about? Well, we're going to talk about some stuff we have coming up. But mm -hmm. I wanted Amanda to come today because she's she's going she's like our new face of the Y. She's ah, our, the new face of the Y. This is the best they can do. Well, yeah, that's all right. I think it's pretty good. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, I think it's pretty good. But Thumbs I, up. I wanted her to come and and you know get to know you a little bit and get to know everybody else a little bit and because um, she came in and hit so the ground running. What are you retiring to Tahiti or something? What are you doing? Yes. <laughs> Just not anytime soon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. There's plenty okay. for me to do. Plenty for you. I know there always has been. So now, Amanda, what is your title if you have one? What it is you? the Marketing and Member Services Director. Wow. So it's two totally different jobs, kind of in one. Okay. So I do work a lot with the front desk and customer experience and the member service department, but then we um, created a new position for marketing. So Excellent. We're getting a new website soon. Whoa. A new mobile app. Okay. Lots of new technology. Lots so I'm of excited. stuff. Excited. Well, tell us about Amanda Grantham. Uh, where's home for you? I was born and raised in Goldsboro. Get out of here! Yes, Woo! Yes. All right. It's a black hole, right? Yeah. Well, you know, that's we okay. Love it. Yeah, that's yes. good. My husband is a pastor at the bridge. We've been married nine years. That Grantham. Yes, that Grantham. Oh, okay. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Do you know that Grantham? No, no, I'm just teasing. I'm just teasing. So. <laughs> You're a hot okay, person. all right. All right, but anyway, getting back. Now, wh what did you do before the family? Why? My husband and I own a wedding photography business. Do you? Oh, that Grantham. That uh, Grantham, oh, okay. yes. All J right. plus A photography. Very good. J plus A? Yes, sir. Okay. And now you're working with the Goldsboro Family Y. Yes. And so what do you see your challenges to be at the Y? Now, what are you looking Ooh. forward to uh, running into out there? Huh? Huh? Is that we've a good already, question? We've done a lot of work in the last, what, three months mm -hmm. since I've been hired. We went through a branding uh, overhaul through the National Y Association. Right. And so it's more than just a logo change, which people think it's just a logo change, but it's a Are lot. Are you changing logos? We did. Mm -hmm. We changed it about ago. four years ago, but we have through December to get brand compliant. So, oh, okay. Well, now we have one behind us here. You see it on the screen yes. there. Is that the, is that, that, is that it? That's the new logo. That's the new one. That's good. Yes. But All there's right. a lot more to it than that. Well, but, yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. So, I'm marketing. Excited. That's mm -hmm. that's wonderful. So, cricket. So, what what else is going on? It's fall at the family Y. And what does that mean? It means that we always have stuff going <laughs> I on. I know, I know. So the fall is not really all that different. You just have different stuff. It's just different times of day yeah. when people are busy. You know, when the, when the kids leave and go back to school, everything kind of shifts again. Yeah. So there's net because people are like, do you guys have any dead time? Maybe towards Christmas we might. Really? But we still have the kids that are there for after mm -hmm. school. We've got swim team going on. We've got basketball going on. I, you know, I challenge anybody really to drive past and our parking lot's not full. Which I, is a good problem. I've never seen it not full. Mm -hmm. It's always full. It's you always, always have full. something going on there. Uh, swimming, uh, exercise programs, uh, weight loss programs. Just the list is endless what you guys do there. Yeah, there's a lot. And then one of the things we've been doing, and, and I've talked about this past couple of times, we're doing our strategic plan. Yes. And um, it's amazing to see in the community how how many people don't know what we do i mean and people mm -hmm. that really kind of should be in the know and we were talking about all the groups that we collaborate with because mm -hmm. one of the questions was is like who would you like to see the ymca partner with you know and it was like boys and girls club and all these different things and you know when it came our opportunity to talk i was like we've been part we've been partnering with them you know in 76 77 other entities that we partner with right. so we're trying to make sure that we get the, the word out on that too and let people know you know where we are and, and what we're doing um, we've got maybe two or three more meetings with a strategic plan mm -hmm. and then we'll pop out a plan and kind of see where we're going to go with that you mentioned the the partners that you that you're working with and, and I'm sure that a lot of people as you say are not aware mm -hmm. of the the long list of people you work with but what are some of the other misconceptions or things that you'd, you'd like for the public to know that they just don't know about the, the Goldsboro family, why? One is that we're a nonprofit, and I think a lot of people don't know that. That's true. Mm -hmm. They don't know They don't know, know, that. know we're a nonprofit. That's right. A lot of people don't know that we're a Christian organization. Well, Young Men's mm -hmm. Christian Associations, where it, from where it started. Mm -hmm. Yep. But right. a lot of people just say the why, you know, and that yeah. was one of the reasons why YUSA 
change the logo to the Y right. because that's kind of what yeah. everybody says. So but it is a Christian-based organization. Mm -hmm. And we've been a lot more intentional over the past five years of making sure that that is like seen through all of our programs, mm -hmm. through, you know, just anywhere that you are in the YMCA, you should be able to see something that ties you to Christian values and, and, and that sort of stuff. We do mm -hmm. um, the preschool kids and the after school kids have devotion time and we work with some of the churches and they come down and do um, you know prayer and praise and worship and, and the kids love it I mean they really really do we in the summertime we had like 250 kids down at the Lord's table doing a week-long vacation Bible school Wow so, it's a large group yeah it is but I mean it's they can't get that somewhere else and that's that's one of the things we're talking about is like what sets us apart from everybody mm -hmm. else mm -hmm. I mean you know there are a lot of um, companies and organizations in the community that have workout space and they have fitness classes and they have sports but they don't have something for everybody right which we do yeah and we oh, have yes. something for everybody are you getting all this down yeah. I'm taking notes taking notes all right <laughs> okay so and, and we don't we don't we, tr we don't exclude anybody the last two words of our mission statement is for all mm -hmm. for and, all and okay. we we want to make sure that everybody knows that they're welcome at the Y uh, as far as finances are concerned, we do not turn anybody away due to inability to pay. Which is another misconception. Right. A lot of people think, well, I can't afford to go to the Y. Right. You know, that's just not true. Right. And everybody does pay something, mm -hmm. you know, but it's based <coughs> on a sliding scale mm -hmm. with, you know, your income and things. And then we also take into consideration because there are some people that normally wouldn't qualify for financial assistance, mm -hmm. but someone in the family has a terminal illness or there's something going on. So that's kind of above and beyond. You know, and we want to be there for people. That's we want to be the go-to for people to be able to come and de-stress and you know be able to spend time with their family in a good atmosphere. And that's what it's all about. You talk about de-stressing. People show up at the Goldsboro Family Y rather early in the morning. Mm -hmm. What time of the yes, day do, do. do you open your doors? At there? quarter to five. They quarter show up to earlier than I do. At four forty-five. Why you're not there at five <laughs> o'clock in the morning? What's the matter with you? I have a four-year-old. Oh well, that explains everything. 4.45 in the morning, the doors open for people to come in and exercise, and they do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're, waiting. They're waiting. They're waiting for you when you get there. They're waiting when you yeah. get there. So pe indicated. people do this on the way to work mm -hmm. in the mornings. Mm -hmm. Okay. And since uh, school's in session, there's a lot of, as you mentioned, fall, change, uh, things change this time of the year. What are some of the things that you're starting up now? That uh, it's a new focus at the Y for the for the season. Well, in the fall we have, of course, our after school program, and we pick up from I think ten schools in the area. So we mm -hmm. pick the kids up, and our child care center is now all in one location on um, not Harding Drive. Yes, it is Harding. It's Drive. Harding Drive. Nine yes, Harding Drive, right. which is the old Wayne Montessori school. Right. Um, and that's just a tremendous place for us to be able to have all the kids under one roof and, and do a lot of programming that there. is an amazing facility there it's a big building and you can mm -hmm. you can put in a bunch of kids and there's a lot of noise right right a lot of, a lot noise, of noise in there yeah it's organized chaos it is it is it is it means they're having fun that's it, right well yeah and it backs up to the sports complex so they have ah. access to use mm -hmm. that land and you know right now we've got fall soccer going on so when you drive past the sports complex there's soccer going on in the afternoons swim teams back in session in the afternoons after school. During the summer they mm -hmm. swim a different schedule, but mm -hmm. they're, and starting November 1st, the uh, high school swimming will start. Mm -hmm. So, you know, oh, the okay. pool will get really busy. Yeah. Um, but we always leave a lane open for lap swimmers, and that's another misconception, because people think, you know, when fall comes and there's um, high school swimming and our kids swimming, that there's nowhere for them to swim, but we always leave a lane open for our members to swim. Um, you can't beat that. That's, that's just plain good business. Mm -hmm. So and good marketing. That's yeah. right. Right. She didn't get on that. Um, <laughs> I'll take then, the credit. Then we, okay. got, we have a couple of, and I'm, I'm going to let her talk about Help the Hungry since that's her baby. Um, okay. We have the turkey trots coming up on Thanksgiving Day. All right. And last year we had, I think, 432 turkeys. Three turkeys really? Wow. <laughs> yep. And, you know, it's a good opportunity if you go out and exercise before you go home and stuff yourself. And Yes. Mm -hmm. well, that's a great idea. But there's a ton of people that, like, they return home for Thanksgiving to visit yeah. family, and so they'll come out of the whole family. You know, people come out dressed oh, as turkeys. Great. We yeah. had some people dressed as pilgrims last year. <laughs> people bring there their dogs. There was an award for that this mm -hmm. year for costume Really? Contest. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. Yeah, just to make it fun. And what's the date on that again? Thanksgiving Day. Oh. And there's Must a kid's fun run. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. Like a one mile. So it must be on a Thursday then. Yes. I would guess. It is on a Thursday morning. Well, and know, it starts at 8. I read so the calendar once. <laughs> yeah, you go and get that out of the way and you're done for the and day. You go cook and eat. All right. Tell me about the program she just mentioned. Yes. Uh, Help the Hungry is a fitness challenge mm -hmm. for our members. Okay. And they complete 30 workouts in like a two month time period and they bring in 30 cans of food and a, a pack of dog food or cat food mm -hmm. and then do three acts of kindness for people. And they get rewarded with a free luncheon and a free shirt oh. um, that says, I survived the challenge. But all the food goes to help our Wise Men program. So we're giving back the oh, food okay. to our community right. and to local families that need it. And um, we are still looking for donors for that program. Okay. But I think we'll be. So if someone wants yes. to donate, how do they, what do they do? They can just call Amanda at the Y. Amazing. It's yes. so easy. It's very easy. Very easy. Yes. And that number is? 919-778-8557. Mm -hmm. She's got the number. Yep, got that number. <laughs> okay. Very good. 778-8557 yes. at the Goldsboro Family Absolutely. Y. And I know there's got, uh, you mentioned a new website, but the web, the old website is still working. It is. It is up and running, but we're going to have a new one. Uh, what is that? And a new one in the palm of your hand on your smartphone. Get out of here. All the fitness schedules and everything will be in the touch of your hand. So there's an app for that, huh? There is. It's coming. In the middle of November. Okay, what's that? You what's the uh, the website address? GoldsboroYMCA.org. That's right. Dot org. Dot org. GoldsboroYMCA.org. And our guests today, Cricket Davis and Amanda Grantham from the Goldsboro Family Y. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks for watching. This is Wayne Goldsboro Television in the heart of Goldsboro, in the heart of Wayne County. Thanks for watching. This is Wayne Goldsboro Television, in the heart of Goldsboro, in the heart of Wayne County. Sergeant Paige Leonard of Crime Stoppers is with us today, and we're here to find out uh, what the bad guys are doing. We need to catch some bad guys, get them off the street, and you're here to tell us about it. We do. What's going um, on? Unfortunately, we've had another homicide, and um, this one happened October 1st mm -hmm. this year. Mm -hmm. It was about 10:15 at night. The uh, police department, the Goldsboro Police Department, got calls of shots being fired. Uh, our subject with a gun, and w in the 1900 block of South Slocum Street. Right. And uh, as they arrived on scene, they actually located somebody who had already been shot right there in, in that area. And that is Nyquan Carnegie. He's a 19-year-old, and uh, unfortunately, he was, you know, deceased out there on the scene. 19 years old. 19, very young, mm. and. Um, you know, this is 10:15 at night, and this is October 1st. There's a uh, for people who are not familiar, there, there's a lot of activity in this side of town. Um, there was a lot of people outside. There's, you know, in, in both housing areas down there, and so we're hoping that somebody is going to come forward and take a look at the pictures that we've posted. We've actually posted pictures on the Goldsboro Police Department Facebook page, right. so they can took a, take a look at these pictures of these are some persons of interest in related to the case that we would like to talk to. And I've also brought the pictures, mm -hmm. you know, for you to see and for you to share with the public. So We're showing them now. We are definitely hoping that somebody's going to say, hey, you know, that looks like even if they're not 100% sure, yeah. then we can rule that name out. Right. You know, we can rule them in or we can rule it out. We just want to talk to them in reference to this night. You know, people don't stop and think that oftentimes you 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 need to identify somebody to eliminate them right. from suspicion right to get them outside right. of that circle and it happens often a lot of times you know I, like I said it's a busy area yeah. so a lot of people in the area at this time and well certainly we've got to work as hard to rule them out as we do in All so right. now, sergeant this is a uh, this is an area on South Slocum Street that's right it's 1900 block um, What's that it's, it's in between the Grand Day Point and Seymour House uh, Seymour Homes housing subdivision mm -hmm. so it's right there in that vicinity okay right there in that vicinity so it was at uh, nighttime uh, when people were out milling about, and that That's was a right. Thursday evening, as that I recall. That was right. Thursday, and it was about 10, 15 at night. All right, so if you have any idea of any kind of thoughts about who this may be, uh, the uh, the best thing to do is to call Crime Stoppers, and that number showing at the bottom of your screen right now, 735-2255, or you can text, which mm -hmm. I understand is becoming quite popular. Today. Yeah, I really think that people, it's just one more wall that they can get behind, mm -hmm. you know, so that we can't figure out their identity, which is great. We want it that way. You don't want to know who they are. Right, we, we don't want to know who they are. It just so. muddies the water. 
<laughs> you know, this younger generation is, um, they're tech savvy, and so they can write a book very quickly. Yes, and, they can. Uh, that's great. We'll take text messages, too. All right. Very good. 919-222-4230 uh, is the text number and the phone number, 735-2255. Sergeant Page Leonard asking for your help to solve this crime. Thank you very right. much. Thank you. Thanks for watching. This is Wayne Goldsboro Television, in the heart of Goldsboro, in the heart of Wayne County. And we're back on Wayne Goldsboro Television. We're that close to the weekend. Woohoo! Woohoo! It's right there. So I'll remind you that uh, I, I certainly hope we have a little better weather this weekend than we had last. A quick reminder that last Friday, a week ago today, the Shriners were supposed to have their their fish fry, and I'll remind you that that Shriners fish fry has been rescheduled for November 6th. Okay, yeah. November 6th. So we're going to remind you of that again soon. In the meantime, if you're out and about this weekend, please drive carefully and remember to always wear your seatbelt. It does make a difference and it does save lives. Right? That's right. Okay. All right. In the meantime, this is Wayne Goldsboro Television. Anything to add? You know, the fair's wrapping up this weekend. Yes. You've still got a chance to go. Friday, the gates are going to open today at 4. Saturday, the go gate... Okay, this is the second time this week I've We go with the goats again. The goats. The goats, <laughs> the goats get goats open. The goats are fabulous at the fair. The goats are fabulous. The gates on Saturday <laughs> open at 11 a.m. Yes. So you've got a full day on Saturday. So, you know, make sure if you've not had a chance to go out, you've got a chance today and tomorrow. And um, when you see volunteers working or any of the staff members, make sure to say thank you. Uh, there's a lot that goes on oh, yeah. uh, um, a year in advance planning for this and a lot executing to make sure it's a successful year. And for 67 years, they, they've done just that. So take a, take a moment to say thank you. That's exactly right. So I hope you have a great weekend. We'll be back in here Monday morning at 7 a.m. In the meantime, have a great weekend. And until then, for Wayne Goldsboro Television, I'm Wayne Alley. And I'm Kate Daniels.